video game remakes have become one of the most popular trends in the industry. From Resident Evil 4 to Super Mario RPG, publishers have taken old favourites and rebuilt them for a new generation of players. And who can blame them as the combination of IP recognition and an established fan base turns these titles into money-making machines. But while it's been great seeing these classics receive new life, there are other video games that deserve this treatment as well. These titles are not the obvious picks, but the remake treatment could finally get them the wider recognition they deserve. I'm Sai for WhatCulture.com and here are 10 more cult classic video games that deserve a remake. Number 10 The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction the Incredible Hulk is an IP ripe for successful video games. With his brute strength and near indestructible physique, this character has the potential to have a great title due to the incredible feats he's capable of. And in 2005, The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction was proof of the hero's promise in the gaming industry and showed players how fun the Green Goliath could play. Taking cues from the highly successful Spider-Man 2 game, developers Radical Entertainment put the title character in an open world environment. A big standout from Ultimate Destruction was the character's moveset, which all came from the comics. The Hulk could use cars and lampposts as makeshift weapons while at the same time perform variations of smashing attacks. And despite being a PS2 era title, players could commit all kinds of destruction from wrecking vehicles to even levelling buildings down to the ground. With gameplay ideas like that, you can see why an Ultimate Destruction remake is such an interesting prospect. The game's environmental destruction would surely be a visual spectacle on modern consoles while refining the Hulk's already impressive moveset. Number 9. Fallout the Fallout games have become one of the most popular RPGs out there thanks to Bethesda making the series mainstream since Fallout 3. And while it's great to see the franchise flourish and reach a wider audience, it's a shame that the older titles have been overlooked by new fans. The isometric Fallout games may be crude by today's standards, but they contain some of the best narratives in the series, even topping the newer entries. From the quest to save Vault 13, fighting the Master and encountering citizens from the wasteland such as Harold and Marcus, Fallout 1 and 2 have countless iconic moments. The games also offered players the freedom to do whatever they want from low intelligence characters having special dialogue to the famous Navarro run from Fallout 2. Of course the biggest drawback these days for younger players is the isometric presentation which understandably can be off-putting. And so a remake can take cues from the modern Fallout games with its combat and exploration while modernising the older game's beloved narratives. By having the best of both worlds fans may be able to experience two great Fallout entries and see why these stories still hold up today. Number 8. Predator Concrete Jungle the Predator franchise has been part of numerous video games such as Alien vs Predator, Mortal Kombat 10 and Ghost Recon, yet despite this the character has barely had solo games. With an iconic design and countless memorable weapons, you'd think that video game publishers would seize the opportunity to make a great Predator game. Enter 2005's Predator Concrete Jungle. The game has everything fans could want, from an explorable map, weapons like the wrist blades and plasma caster, and even performing spine rips and skinning your prey. Playing the title felt like you really were the Predator as you tore down enemies and bosses in the streets of a futuristic city. Concrete Jungle was even written by comic legend Grant Morrison himself and features numerous easter eggs like Predator skins from the previous movies to encountering the Xenomorphs. It wasn't perfect however as the lack of a checkpoint system and the mission design could feel clunky, but these minor gripes could be fixed with a remake. Someone needs to take the overall concept of this game and put it on modern platforms, giving us an open world Predator game where players can kill all the worthy prey they want to take as trophies. Number 7 Yakuza 3 Yakuza 3 was a huge leap for the franchise when it was released in 2009. Players could now explore cities with a controllable camera and combat was more refined than ever before. But the game's reputation would take a dip with the release of Yakuza Kiwami 1 and 2, remakes of the first two PS2 titles. You see, these remakes take the story from the original games and bring in the perfected combat from newer Yakuza titles. And because most fans decide to play the stories in chronological order, it's resulted in many viewing Yakuza 3 as a game that is clunky and poorly aged, which is unfair as they're comparing a 2009 game to newer ones. Like a Dragon 3 features one of the best stories in the franchise as Kazuma Kiryu starts an orphanage where he takes care of different children. Its cast is considered one of the best in the series with its villain in particular stealing the limelight. And so Yakuza 3 deserves the Kawami treatment to turn its reputation around. A modernised combat system, updated graphics and some streamlining of some awkward side missions would allow newer fans to experience Yakuza 3 through a brand new lens. Number 6. Brutal Legend 
Successful new IPs can be a rarity in the video game industry as most releases often consist of sequels or remasters. In 2009, Brutal Legend was a new video game property, one that stood out from the crowd with its presentation and love for the heavy metal genre. It had everything a metalhead wants from a killer soundtrack, references for the hardcore fans and even Jack Black as the protagonist. What made the game really unique as well was its dueling gameplay styles, which consisted of third-person action and real-time strategy. For the former, the player was thrust into environments where they could slash their way through with the broad axe named the Separator. For the latter, on the other hand, stage battles involved RTS missions where you had to protect your stage while at the same time attacking an enemies. Brutal Legend received positive reviews from critics, though players found the blend of two genres a bit bewildering and it wasn't helped by EA's terrible marketing. But with the game gaining a cult following since, a Brutal Legend remake would rectify the problems it had upon release. Now that fans know what to expect, it might do better a second time around. Number 5 Jade Empire one of Bioware's lesser-known RPGs is 2005's Jade Empire. The title stood out from the market as it was a role-playing game inspired by Chinese mythology, a departure from most medieval fantasy settings in the genre. But despite this, the game sold below expectations. It's a pity because Jade Empire is an overlooked gaming experience that deserves more love. The first Bioware title to have real-time combat, the player has a variety of fighting styles to choose from, such as the basic Leaping Tiger and the slow but powerful White Demon. The protagonist, the Spirit monk can also perform magic-based attacks and recruit a colourful cast of party members. Much like Knights of the Old Republic and Mass Effect, Jade Empire also has a morality system where the player has to choose between the open palm and the closed fist. But really, the big appeal of the game was allowing players to star in their own martial arts adventure and choosing whatever outcome they desired. With its fun gameplay and likeable characters, the game would benefit from a remake that would expand every aspect. Revamped controls and upgrade systems could rival beat-em-ups like the Yakuza games, while it could be great to see the return of characters such as Silk Fox and Death's Hand in stunning 4K graphics. Number 4 Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks the Mortal Kombat franchise always had trouble when it came to spin-offs. 1997's mythology Sub-Zero received a cold reception, while 2000's Special Forces is often considered an all-time low. But finally, the series would get a great spin-off with the release of Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, which was a success both critically and financially. This beat-em-up adventure game retells the story of Mortal Kombat 2 and focuses on Liu Kang and Kung Lao. It also expands on character relationships as well as fleshing out the scenarios that occur during the events of the game. Most Importantly, Shaolin Monks features great gameplay with both playable characters having a distinct moveset. Liu Kang and Kung Lao's moves have all been translated perfectly into the adventure plane while the game retains the series penchant for some bloody fatalities and even brutalities. Yet despite the game's success and plans to make a follow-up to Shaolin Monks, Mortal Kombat has never returned to the adventure genre. Remake of this game would be a great way to test the waters on whether or not players are willing to have another MK experiment outside of the fighting game sphere. With brand new graphics, and an up-to-date combat system, a Shaolin Monks remake would be a win-win for both WB Games and the MK fanbase. Number 3 Red Dead Revolver Red Dead Redemption is one of Rockstar's biggest IPs, second only to the Grand Theft Auto games. But not a lot of players know that RDR was the second game in the series, with the original being released during the PS2 era. Red Dead Revolver was released in 2004 and is a linear third-person shooter where, as Red Harlow, you can take down bounties and enemies as well as use the Deadeye. Nowadays, the game is far simpler and more straightforward compared to the other Red Dead games, but its western action and its storyline would all set the tone for the subsequent entries. But as the game has been forgotten over time, a remake could really introduce Red Harlow and his quest for vengeance to newer gamers. The title could take the open world aspect of the newer games and the plethora of side missions while refining the third person shooting that made Red Dead Revolver so fun to play. Number 2 Alpha Protocol a spy-themed RPG has always been an interesting idea for a video game, and Alpha Protocol was the title to answer that call. Developed by Obsidian Entertainment, players were put in the shoes of Michael Thornton and performed missions where there could be different outcomes. For example, sparing the life of an international terrorist led to scenarios where he could aid the player in a future mission. But a big problem of the game was its unfinished state, as Sega pressured the developers hit a certain release date. The result led to a buggy mess and lacklustre combat, especially compared to other RPGs around the same time, like Mass Effect. 
Effect 2. Hacking missions were reduced to simple puzzles and the graphics suffered from numerous pop-ins. But issues aside, gamers appreciated the well-written story and how every choice through a playthrough indeed mattered as different variations could alter the game's ending. Though Sega cancelled the series and Obsidian eventually moved on, a remake of Alpha Protocol still sounds like a good idea. Even in the years since its release, we haven't seen that many spy-themed video games, let alone spy-themed RPGs, so there's still a hole in the market for Alpha Protocol to fit into. And number one, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. Believe it or not, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 has become a cult classic throughout the years, but how can a game responsible for dragging the Blue Blur's name down to the ground achieve such status after all this time? Sonic 06 suffered from a troubled production and was released in an unfinished state. This resulted in numerous issues that you're no doubt fully aware of, as every video game critic, including us, has pointed them out time and time again. But the title's reputation would improve considerably with the release of the fan remake called Sonic P06. The game fixes all of the technical issues from the 2006 disaster but retains the level design and core gameplay loop. The result has fans realising that without the blemishes that plagued the game, Sonic 06 is actually pretty decent, boasting an expansive level design and some of the most thrilling set pieces in the series, now that they work. Remaking Sonic 06 then would be a great idea, especially with Sonic P06 already laying the groundwork on what to do. Successfully reviving one of the worst games of all time could lead to one of the greatest redemptions in video game history. Yes, it would be a risk, but Sega, think of the headlines. As you can tell from the title, in the title of this video, we've actually already done something on this subject for 10 cult classic video games that deserve a remake, which you can click here now to watch, see if your favourite cult classics made the cut. And if they didn't, let us know in the comments down below which video games you'd like to see get that treatment. Like this video, subscribe, head over to whatculture.com for more content every day. I've been Cypher Whatculture, and have a good week.